What's up YouTube, Winterguard here. So today we're going to go over 200 trav runs that I did with the Thorker, my throw barb horker. That um, I've never actually played Barbarian that much and uh, so we decided to test this out on ladder and see how it would run and I gotta tell you it's been pretty amazing. I've had a blast with this character just in general. But uh, I've never had that much luck in Trav and Call but this kind of turned things around for me. It's quickly becoming one of my favorite farm spots. I was always a Chaos player, but um, the Barbarian has really changed it up for me. Uh, so we're going to go over the, the uh, itemization real quick on what I got, and we're going to go through a compilation, and you guys will see what we got with these 200 runs. I will say this, pay close attention to the Grand Charm drop that I got. Uh, I think it's towards the end of the compilation. It's probably one of the best Grand Charms I've ever had drop for me in Diablo 2. The, uh, the RNG on this roll was pretty crazy. So uh, be on the lookout for that, but let's look at the gear real quick. Um, first off, I'm running Shrikes and Ethereal Demon's Arch. Uh, the reason for this setup specifically is just because the Lacerators, while the, on paper the Lacerators probably do more damage, I don't really care for the Monster's Flea effect on the Lacerators, which you can kind of play around that, but uh, the what my play style is more suited for using this setup. So I go with the Atmos for the amp versus the amp uh, proc on the lacerators. We are running just a wealth for the magic finding gold, a Shaco charmed for the cannot be frozen, uh, laying of hands, Dual Dwarfs, mainly for the Fire Absorb and, of course, the extra gold, which is always nice. I do mean to change out the Razor Tail. I'm going to switch this probably to a upped gold wrap for a little more magic find. Uh, the Pierce effect is nice, but with the Masteries on throw and the 50% on the War Strikes, I think i got enough Pierce to switch this out. And we're running Gores. I might change these out to War Trabs at some point, but... Um, for now, we're going to stick with the Gore Riders. Uh, the Deadly Strike and the Chance Crushing Blow is really nice. M granted, it's kind of low on the boots, but uh, it does help a little bit. So we might s switch these out for traps. I don't know yet. Um, and then on the Mercenary, we're running the Sazabi set. Now, the only part of this, there is some cold damage effect on the sword. So that can cause shatter on some of the council members sometimes so we're probably going to rework this at some point the main hand is the grief so that's what we're running um if you want to look at the tree real quick uh nothing special here we maxed uh throw mastery of course got the the single points here uh one here for the axe which originally was for the last raider but since we're not using that now that's kind of not worth it um, max double throw and the synergy on double throws double swing so these two are maxed and then max fine potion because with the changes in 2.4 the fine potion uh, has a more added effect to fine item since it's now synergy than actually putting points in fine item so you put a point here and then max this first um, then I started putting points here to get to 75. We're not quite there yet. As you can see, we're at 67. And points here for the uh, battle orders and battle command. So that's the setup. Uh, pretty straightforward. So we'll dive into the compilation now, and then we'll have a quick chat about what we found. Let's get into it.
Okay, as you guys saw, the um, drops were pretty good. I didn't show everything. I did get a uh, storm shield, and I didn't bother to show that. But uh, we picked up quite a few runes, Vex being highest. But um, let's talk about this Grand Charm. So, this course went into the inventory. As you can see, this is a 10 max. Uh, 10 being the highest that that can roll. Uh, 40 life is the highest that that can roll unless you unless it drops off of Bale, Nilothok, or Diablo. Then it could go, I believe it could go up to 45 in this combo. I'm not 100% sure. I know that applies to Skillers. Maybe it applies to the Sharps, but... I, I'd have to dive into the uh, affix rolls on those charms to determine that. But for now, we'll just say 40 life is max. Now, the only thing then is the variable on the AR. This actually goes 49 to 76, if I'm not mistaken. It's either 74 or 76. So the, the, even the AR rolled on the high end. This is an amazing charm. This is probably one of the best rolls I've ever gotten. Uh, two out of three of the rolls are perfect, and then the third roll with the AR is on the high end. So uh, this is absolutely insane, Grand Charm. Uh, somebody threw some pricing at me that this was, at the time of recording, was probably worth a couple of baroons. Uh, I'm not, not sure on that. I'd have to dive deep, deeper and see what kind of offers this would actually get. But I'm going to hang on to it. This is, just, this is just too good to kind of bend or, or trade off. Uh, I don't really need anything, so this is just going to go into the inventory, and we'll use it. Uh, maybe at a later date, um, we might do something with it, but for now, we're, we're just hanging on to this charm. But, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if you enjoyed this type of video, give me a like and subscribe. We'll be doing some more throwing. We'll probably go into the pits. Maybe we'll do some more trav. Maybe we'll just see where else we can... Uh, take advantage of this build it's been a lot of fun and i'm leaning more and more towards starting with barb and next ladder but we'll see uh the runes i've gotten off of this guy already in the short time i've been running him has just been uh way more than sork so we'll just leave it at that um but uh yeah that's it we'll leave it here you guys have a great day keep on farming